as you may know, Cori Bush is a Democratic Congresswoman from Missouri and she recently spent $300,000 on private security during this election cycle and the, so far. And I don't have a problem with her spending money on private security. I'm big on self-defense. That's why I think everybody ought to be able to, you know, have the right to bear arms and everything. Important to me. The thing is that she's also in favor of the defund the police movement. Still. And so then I have to ask, all right, so if she is so big on spending so much money on private security, does she intend on spending that amount on each family? Could we afford to? I doubt it. I mean, I'm trying to keep up here, but with the high taxation, the ridiculous amount of inflation that we have going on, which is manifestly resulting in uh, high gas prices, high food prices as a consequence, uh, we have actually scarcity in the United States for one of the first times. But, you know, even if it weren't for all of those things, still the answer would be no, we can't afford to spend $300,000 on every American family in order to maintain their safety and their welfare. But, you know, we don't have to because we kind of had a plan, a twofold plan, you might say. One is the ability to defend themselves that individuals ought to have. As a Democrat, she's not really big on that. But also, the other part of the plan was that we would kind of have this, this security force that everybody could share, and to keep a community safe, we'd have these security forces that were shared by the whole community. We called those things law enforcement, yeah. Some people call them, you know, some iterations are called police departments, we also had sheriff's departments. That was the plan. It was what we were supposed to do. They weren't perfect and they never are. Then again, we can't all spend $300,000 per family on it, so we're doing the best that we can. But it's her approach to say no. To say that no, the rest of the community can't have any variation of that, they certainly can't have one as well funded as hers, because our lives don't matter. And when you really kind of get down to the root of the problem, that's what it is. It is the result of her mindset, which must say that her life is worth insurmountably more than ours, that we don't even have the right to a police force or self-defense for that matter, and she in fact does by virtue of, I'm not really sure, uh, you know, I, I should have to put words into her mouth that, that goes so specific as to say what it is about her that necessitates her having this greater life value than ours. But clearly she does in fact hold that to be true. And I, I think that a lot of our politicians do. It comes down to the fact that we have a system right now where there is a, a sort of two tiers uh, one of elitists and one of the rest of us that are trying to live and survive and so on and defend our families. And I think it's important that we point this stuff out. And people like Cori Bush, if they want to get rid of police departments and defund the police, ought to go without security themselves and live under the very system that they want every other family to live under. If you liked that video enough to make it to the end of the video, which is like superhuman in terms of modern attention spans, please make sure to share this with your friends and family. I also have links in the description so you can follow me elsewhere and you can find other videos. Thanks.